But of course, how convenient for the neighbor to cut the grass as I start recording. What can I say? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage, where the shirts keep on rocking and we keep on rolling. Because today, I am going to keep my promise. I'm going to show you guys how you can control your Raptor style amber lights by adding a simple circuit and, of course, a super cool switch. Okay, so for this particular job, this is obviously the switch that I went with mainly because I want the little guy to look like an actual forerunner front end. There are some out there that actually just say um, grill lights, I believe, and it looks more like a Tacoma. I didn't want a Tacoma, I want an actual forerunner. So, with that being said, I will obviously leave the link for you guys where to purchase that one and then a link also to purchase this one which is basically a harness with a relay and a switch but we obviously are not going to use that switch we're going to use this one so this is uh how we're going to start this project with and now for this job i am choosing to use a soldering gun because i do want to trim some of this wire just take a closer look at the wire that it is provided it does come with a lot of wire. You can literally run a light bar with all this wire, but we're gonna trim some of this. And in order to do this properly, we are obviously gonna solder some wires. When with shrink tubing, you need a heat gun. So there's really nothing much to it, but I'll try to guide you guys step by step. I currently, the way I have it is straight uh, ground over there with this wire. And then when you remove this box, I have the fuse right there, but as you can see, my box doesn't even close because that a fuse doesn't let it. Now, I am obviously going to remind you guys that you definitely don't want moisture entering the fuse block. Yeah, I know. For those of you that might wonder throughout the video, I managed to smash my finger, so that's that. So, we are going to fix that today. We're going to run wires to the inside. Add a relay in between and a switch on the inside of the car that is most likely going to go on one of these spots right here. I'm probably going to put it either here or there. It really doesn't matter. You could even put it there. I believe it fits on either one of the three. What I'll do is I'll basically sketch out everything that I want to do. As you guys can see, this even got a little confusing for me. But all you guys need to know is from the switch, which is this guy. I'm basically mapping out where all these wires are going. Uh, two of these wires, the red and the yellow, these two together, are going to go to a white wire, which is on this side of the harness. Allow me to show you. So after we remove the switch, which we are not going to use this guy, after this got removed, we're not going to use this guy because we have an actual switch that we want to use. These are the wires that came out of it. So all you need to know is that the white wire is going to go with the red and yellow. The black wire goes with the black and the green goes with the red. I know, a little confusing, but trust me, once we're all said and done, we're going to be good to go. Of course, to play it safe, I have my multimeter to check voltages, test lights, and this guy makes... Uh, Playing around with wires a lot easier, so let's get cracking. Now, guys, I don't know how um, good of a job I'm going to do here, but if there's a definitely tip of advice is always use the shrink wrap tubing because, especially with the engine bay, you want to make sure when you're done with your job that you can go over this and protect it. You know, you want to be clean about your job, but most importantly, you want to keep corrosion away from these components give you guys a quick recap uh, this is the wire that comes from your Raptor lights I solder it with the shrink wrap you know not the cleanest job but I'm gonna do another layer and wrap this up clean it up very nicely so that's one bundle 
then you got the other two hopefully this is not too confusing ground right there black the red one is going to go inside the car which i have already extended because it was shorter wire this one with the three connectors is also going inside the car so both that red and this one we're going to basically sneak them right through that guy what i'm going to do is take that grommet out and then trim the centerpiece so that we can slide those wires inside the car but i'm actually doing this that's the grommet i obviously poked the hole through it fed these wires right through it i'm going to tape these guys up with a little bit of tape and feed it right through that hole right there on the firewall now once you guys have fed that wire through the firewall it's actually going to come out right behind this guy right here and what you want to do is obviously give it a little helping hand and pull it yourself and there you have it look at that definitely got plenty of wire to work with and then now the magic inside the car is about to go down the one red wire that came by itself as you can see i soldered not a pretty job here because i'm starting to run out of a uh, uh, shrink tube but there was a tiny bit of a shrink tube i just put another layer of protection there it's aside the point so this is actually a very important bit what you want to do is take your fuse box on the inside of the car of course out and you want to look for the fourth one on your left side from the top it will say ignition number two right there 10 amp so that is what we're going to pull and i'll show you guys in a second how it's going to look once you're done as you guys see here took the fuse installed it in the add a fuse so now you're going to have two 10 amp fuses this of course goes to the slot and the main reason why we're doing this guys is that uh, we want to be able to operate the switch with the ignition key on only so we want to go ahead and do it from the inside of the car by utilizing the fourth guy there on the left ignition number two and uh yeah let's go ahead together and install this guy where it belongs and we of course eventually will take away all these wires properly but this is exactly where you want to leave it now basically this is a super important clip right here this is the connector that was provided with your switch. When I'm referring to my switch, I'm referring to this guy. So that connector, this is what you want to do. From the connector, two wires. Start with those two. Red and yellow. Go to white one. Black, super easy, goes with the black. And then this one that can confuse some red with the green on the switch. Now, for those of you that are wondering, this is actually an additional fuse for protection. This is a small, tiny little 2 amp fuse that I'm pretty sure I cannot do one-handed. But it's one of those glass, super tiny fuses. Again, we're doing things right. If everything goes wrong, fuses pop and you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead now clean this up a little bit and hide all the wires. And I'll show you guys the switch in operation. As you guys can see... Once you turn it on, it lights up blue like so. And now you are in control of the Raptor lights. I'm gonna cycle them a couple more times so that you guys can see that they are indeed now being controlled by a switch. I hope you guys found this video to be easy to follow. It is super simple to do guys. If I can do it at home, I know you guys can do it as well. Uh, follow my easy steps. Uh, I did solder the wires. You can crimp them as well. It's totally up to you. I feel like soldering it's a much better technique, but either way, you can't go wrong. For those of you that still found it to be a little confusing, not to worry. At the end of the video, I drew out a circuit that you can pause the video and look at it and you will see that it will probably make a lot more sense. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support this channel, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't done so. And if you don't want to miss any more content like this, do not forget to subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one.